Hey, what's up? It's Honest Comp Pope. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome wallpaper um, with Sony Vegas Pro 8.0. If you don't know how to get that, if you don't have it, I have a video on how to get it for free. So, here it goes. The first thing that you want to do is, um, as you can see right here, it's um, 720 by 480. To fix that, you go to Properties and then change it to how big your desktop is. Like, most are, um, I think it's 1280 by 720, which is a 19 inch monitor. Um, but mine's 1440 by um, 900. This is a 20, 20 inch. 20 inch or 22? I can't remember. But, anyways, that doesn't matter. You click apply and OK. And then right here, you gotta click best and full. And that'll have the full thing. You, get, you gotta have it like that. Then um, you um, insert like four video tracks. So I think it was Control Shift Q. Insert four video tracks, and then the top three change them all to Dodge. So Dodge, 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 right here, and the bottom one. And then insert text by going to Media Generators, Text, Default Text, and make it sure it's on the bottom track. And then insert whatever you want. So I'll put in um, O N Y X Comp Hope. And you'll have to change it to like 60 or something. Make sure it's big enough. So yeah, you have to like just ha change it. You have to change it anyways, like so it's not too big. And pick the um, font that you want. Then you can like add little effects right here like you can do the um shadow for example I'm, I guess I'll make a red shadow or outline okay and so that's good and then what you want to do is add some video effects to it. Um, so I'll just add those right quick. Like I'll add a TV simulator, a couple of those, and fix the line sync. Um, what I just did was I put it on best auto so I could see what's going on here. But, um, yeah. So I'm going to pause it so I can put in all my, um, doodads and all this stuff. Okay, so I've added all the effects that I want. And the only reason I have a second track of this is because I had to put in a light ray and I had to fix it, um, so it would look pretty good. So don't even worry about that. But, um,. Now what you want to do is go to media generators, um, go to noise texture and drag in a standard turbulence, and then um, you can um, yeah just do that and then exit out of it. Then go down and drag in a lightning, and you can pick the color of it if you want. Like I might have mine. Um, a brighter bluish color or actually a red that looks pretty cool yeah that one looks cool um and then you can after that you can choose any of these you want I'll just drag in a plasma just to make it look cool actually that doesn't make it look cool never mind delete that one um let's try lava
That looks good right there. Actually, that's a little too bright. I guess I'll just add a starry sky. Actually, another lightning. I think I'll add two lightnings. And this one I'll make. Uh, sorry if this is taking a little while. I'm trying to get this perfect. And then what you want to do is change this to best full. So best full. Alright. It might take a while to like load and stuff because it's pretty big. There we go. Then what you want to do is click save snapshot to file. So save snapshot to file. And then name the picture. Save it. And then, um, I guess you can exit out of this. I guess I will. And see, that's what it looked like at first. I tried, attempted to, then I fixed myself. And so you right click, personalize, desktop background, this one. And now look what it ended up to be. So that's just one easy way to make your own wallpaper without downloading uh, Adobe, because that, um, Adobe Fireworks and. It'll be Photoshop because that just takes up too much space, useless space that you don't even. Uh, yeah. Anyways, but um, so yeah, I'm Onyx Comp Help. I will see you later.